The only one who had the right thing to say in all of this was your father. He had the right words. Get out. That was honorable. I tell you, it's gone with the wind. The Honorable Ashley Sinclair. Yes, sir, honorable is why you didn't sleep with me. Get her all excited, but don't sleep with her. No, isn't honorable. But please tell me, sir, was it honorable to make me fall in love with you? You knew what was happening. Why didn't you stop it? You and your charm, your Brandenburg, and your goddamn rabbits. Is that what you do? Go around charming little kids? Making little kids fall in love with you and then disappear? Sarah... Don't tell me how old you are. I know it and I don't care. I know the numbers, all of them. When I'll be 60, you'll be 104. We'd make a great couple. Boy, do you owe me an explanation. Try, sir. Try. Yes, I could have stopped it. I didn't. What happened? I saw a young girl. She made me laugh. I was amazed and flattered that she wanted to go to bed with me. And she awoke something in me that made me want to go to work again. Then I watched myself fall in love with her. Sixteen. Sixty. Oh. Sixty. I don't think there was a minute with you, sir, happy as it was. I was happy. I don't think there was a minute when I could free myself from, from watching myself. And I kept saying, what the hell are you doing? I saw this old idiot making a fool of himself over a young girl. Yet, every time you came on that silly little bike, my heart would lift again. And when you stood there to be painted, when you offered yourself, I'd say, she's young, she's lovely. Take the gift, time's running out, take it. You know what I think it was, Sarah? If I didn't make love to you, it wasn't because of honor or morality or any of that. I was afraid of what would happen to me. I was thinking of myself. I couldn't face not holding on to you. I couldn't face the ridicule. I couldn't face Claudia's ridicule. I didn't have the strength to face your eventual Inevitable regrets. And yet... I let myself say it. It resolves and resumes all this. I love you. Sarah. about affinity. 
I could never measure what you gave me or what I gave you except all the love I had to give. But I want you to think of the short life we had as, as worthwhile. You're going to be a beautiful, talented woman. And me, whatever new life you make, whatever's left of mine, I want us to go on loving each other. When I'm married and have 18 kids, I'll go on loving you. I'll go on. <laughs>